Hey, knock one more. Can we go thrift shopping? What, 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 Everybody. It's the last day of Paris Fashion Week. Today's subject of my Paris Fashion Week vlog is the Grand Finale. What is the Grand Finale, you may ask? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the Grand Finale starts with Chanel. It continues with Miu Miu and the last bang is Louis Vuitton. I am in my Chanel look already, so we need to be very careful with the food. Breakfast is served. We have avocado toast and berries for immunity. <sighs> drama. Some sample delivery drama. That's like every fashion week you definitely deal with. Something was delivered, allegedly, and the hotel didn't receive it, allegedly. I'm also trying to sort out and follow this fashion week drama. It's just annoying because it happens all all the time and especially in moments where you don't need it i mean like every drama <laughs> <laughs> i'm drama free by the way no, i do not see. have drama in my life so every time this happens i'm really overwhelmed because i'm not good at like dealing with it but i'm gonna tell you what happened this whole fashion week i know what you're thinking you what know? are you thinking <laughs> what are you thinking put it down in the comments <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i have to open <sighs> This fashion week has been really, really weird. You know how excited I was for Paris? And then, if you watched my last vlog, if you haven't, you really should, you saw that I was going home and I was so excited to see my family. That's indeed what happened. I went home, I had my business meeting on a Saturday, which I realized no more. But after that business meeting, my system just completely shut down. I got so sick, so I spent all day in bed and like taking medicine and like so Suffering. And the next day I was okay. I was like, that's great. Just a one day flu. That's perfect. Then I felt okay. I went to Dior and after Dior I crashed. I was out again for a day. And then the next day I was feeling quite okay again. So then I did like Chloe, Off-White and Schiaparelli and then I felt awful again. And this continued for like a week. It was like a roller coaster of fashion flu. It was really annoying and that's why I couldn't vlog. So we'll make the best out of the grand finale while I'm feeling fat again okay so I'm gonna show you what it's like to do one day of fashion week <laughs> 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 but also it's the most important day yeah really so you're excited. getting a treat when I got sick I was so angry like so angry <laughs> you know why do you why? know why because it's annoying to get sick <laughs> I'm like a child when I get sick. I forget that I'm a 33 year old woman. I turn into full on like eight year old mode. I'm so angry that I'm sick because I feel like I'm missing out on life. I even talked about this with my therapist because my therapist was like, um, Xenia, if you're sick, your body like, needs the break cut yourself some slack like do something that's good for you take care of yourself how you would of somebody who has a flu and i was like oh that makes sense but the reason why i was so angry because i was really angry is because out of the last seven fashion weeks in february okay. i got sick five times now I'm learning. It was so funny because she was like, Xenia, why don't you use the downtime to do something nice for yourself? Like watch your favorite series, read some books and spoil yourself. And I was like, wow. That possibility wasn't even in my mind because in my mind it was just like bad, bad, bad. This is one prime example of the parts where I'm really immature. Like I'm stuck in my like child self. <laughs> I feel like I'm in school and the teacher is in the front, but I have to type something on the phone. <laughs> so that was a learning, and I'm so grateful I'm good again. But also, guys, I haven't met a single person who wasn't sick. And it was not super cold, but it's shifting between cold, wet, rainy. No, it was non-stop rainy and disgusting. <laughs> but I also remember that I know when I got sick. I got sick when I went to this one thing in Milan, and it was really early and really cold. And I didn't have a jacket, I was wearing basically nothing. And, and the show was kind of outside and we didn't know about it. Oh yeah, exactly. Hmm. I have three minutes to finish all of them. Yeah, I think we should leave. Ru, are you ready? Oh! Never a dull moment. Oh. Okay, 
Nice. How does it look? Very cool. And it looks like a sparkle. Oh, the show to be honest i wasn't sure if i'm feeling my look 100 but now i decided i actually do i think this is so cool and guys we shot such cool photos and that really excites me and a lot of funny behind the scenes because i was wearing the glasses yeah did you show them the glasses i'm sure you've guys seen before we got these funny raven meta glasses and basically you can just take pictures and video so Xenia, now I'm taking a video of you while you take a video of me. How does that feel? <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> it feels very good. So we have some, and of course, unfortunately, it's not really YouTube format, but uh, you guys will be fine. Now you know you, what? <laughs> now you guys see yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I want to wear these for um, Mew Mew, like for the show. And take photos of everybody. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, no, funny. actually, you need to come with me inside the show and then take photos of us. Because I want to have pictures of me. Yeah. Um, no, but the show was so good. You know how it is with Chanel. You know, some looks are not mine, but then a lot of looks are mine. And I was obsessed. Like, oh, there were so many, like, stunning, beautiful dresses, stunning jackets. The accessories were next level. The music is always top notch. I really think nobody does it better than Chanel. I even listened to Chanel playlist on Spotify because the music is just everything. And tomorrow we have a um, very special visit. The Chanel saga continues. Yeah, we have a special visit that you requested for my birthday. Oh, by last year. Last year. And it was not possible. So now we got the invite, so it's very exciting. But obviously I'm gonna take you along. And tonight, when I do a debrief, I have to tell you something. I'm gonna tease it so you're gonna watch the vlog. I'm gonna tell you something why I declined a very big fashion show. Because we're spilling the tea here. Now it's the part where I rewatch my own stories for 100 times. That's so cool. And I always picture I'm somebody else. <laughs> Guys, in this household, we love Chanel. Also, I'm kind of hungry. I want French fries. I think we should order French fries. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the plan. So this is my Mew Mew look. Ooh, very short. Short, shorter Mew Mew look. But we're gonna layer. Is this first or the polo first? 
No, this first. This is gonna look so cute. And then I have a blazer. So cute. And you know what? I actually might wear it with the over it knees. The it over so the over it knees. I'm over it knees. <laughs> but first, we're filming, so we need to find a cute spot. And we're very, 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 very good at time. So far. Let's stick in the timing. I'm so happy when we're so good in time. Hey! Hello, Rue. Say hi. Yeah! Show them. Uh, the room? The room. Is this what happens when I actually film? It's a big mess. But don't worry, guys. I'm gonna clean it all up because I cannot think straight when it's this messy. Okay, Jürgen, you know what your task is. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, it's shoe on, on shoe time. I'm like Nick the Huff guy, but it's... Who's the Huff guy? Who? TikTok. Oh. <laughs> okay, I need to change. I ran out of all my t-shirts because I put tomato sauce on all of them or ketchup. And now I have no shirts anymore. Yeah, maybe I just want to like a real fashionista. I need to undress. Nothing to see here. Ooh, I like this. This is cool. Let's unbox the most exciting unboxing. Woo. First of all, I've got a small portion of fries. <laughs> Let's see if they're good. Mm. Uh, nope. Really bad. Ooh, I've got a hash brown. I was just in the mood for potatoes. Oh my God, I ordered quite a lot. Oops. What's that, a soup? This is oh. coleslaw. We love slaw, slay slaw. I also ordered mozzarella sticks. It just felt like the right thing to do. It's a lot of mozzarella sticks. Yeah, the portion was so big. And then, goat cheese salad. Oh, there's bread and ketchup, so. We have everything. Yeah. Uh huh. Mozzarella stick. Oh my god. Mm. Real, you, you want other one your mozzarella stick? So good. I'm in shock. My POV. How does Rue feel about this? Greedy. But Rue, you already had food today so much. <laughs> this is always my POV when I'm eating. Hey, before I leave to the show, I wanna clean up. Because what the hell? Okay. And I'm also gonna show you my look because what the hell? <laughs> so this is my look. What was your inspiration? Harvard is my inspiration. This is how I would go to school in Harvard. By the way, I'm not joking, I'm going to Harvard. Oh my god, guys, Xenia's going to Harvard. I am going to Harvard. Like, I don't know if you take me seriously or not, but I am going in two weeks to Harvard. You see? Harvard or Herbert? Herbert University. No, Harvard, guys. I'm gonna shop the Harvard store empty, okay? That's my plan. I wanna wear Harvard sweatshirts that are 10 sizes too big. I'm over it. Uh, I think Jürgen needs to finish the rest. Jürgen, I'm over it. I really feel how I'm not super fit. Like I'm not fit. Mm -mm. It's too much action. What's the time? Half. We have to leave. Okay, because I love to be early. As you know, I love being early and I've been quite early everywhere. I was early at Chanel. There's just one one show I wasn't early and that was Gucci. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Let's go. I've been sinking lately, 
are you doing? So first of all, Louis Vuitton is the goat, okay? I got flowers. Hmm. Hmm. I love you, Louis Vuitton. You are the best. Isn't it funny that Louis Vuitton started the company like centuries ago? And now I'm this little girl in 2024, happy about a bouquet of flowers that exists because he was born. Think about it. I have to show you my look because I'm sure you're wondering, what the hell is she wearing? The theme is mermaid. And this is my little mermaid look. How sick. <sighs> I am so excited because I'm here with Louis Vuitton. Oh my God, I forgot to show you the most important thing. <laughs> cool beans. Ah, wow, 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 wow. My friends, today I shot five TikTok videos, three reels, like 10 photos. <laughs> I'm on fire. All the content I didn't shoot while I was sick, I shot today. Not even all of it, but I'm so glad. I feel really good today. Usually I'm dead, but because I was sick and I had to pause and skip so many days, I'm doing all right. I really, 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 really love Paris Fashion Week. I didn't have the best time in Paris because, you know, many reasons, but I just love Paris Fashion Week. Oh, by the way, we got a little goodie after the Chanel show. So let me just try it. It looks like a um, cigarette box. Let's see how it smells. Okay. Oops. I'm a bit scared. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's quite good. Okay. Nice. I totally forgot to show you my glasses for the show. I look like an alien, <laughs> but a cool alien. Okay guys, I have to love you and leave you because uh, I wanna be so early at the show. I'm literally leaving more than one hour before and the show is like 10 minutes away from here. But that's how I am. I am a good old German and I love to be on time. Also, I'm going there with Brenda. So maybe we'll have some quality time with Brenda. That would be very fun, because I think you guys need to meet her. Okay, finally, we are here with Brenda. Hello. You've heard so much about her. Um, have you talked about me on the channel? Like all the time. Do you not watch my videos? Are you lying when you say you watch my videos? No, I've, I've heard the reference once where you said, my one friend is proud of you to say about herself that she's a big friend. <laughs> and I was like, good to oh, yeah, that's you. That's her. Okay, so let me like try to show you a look. I'm wearing not Louis Vuitton, I'm wearing a Mugella jacket, Uniqlo Heat Tech. Can I say oh, other labels? Oh, I'm so yeah, jealous. I, I was scared to be cold. I don't so know. She can pose in the cold. For you, it's hungry, right? Like, there's one thing that ruins everything. Hungry. For me, it's cold. I can't. If I it's cold, can. I cannot talk to anyone, oh. I cannot pose. And I'm wearing Louis Vuitton oh Manico Lagasquia, like a scuba dive skirt. Okay, it doesn't really it's do so it good. justice right now. The boots. <laughs> I was preparing for my boots moment. Okay, so what was the most scandalous thing you've witnessed during Fashion Week? Okay, today, for the first time in forever, because I feel like it doesn't happen at fancy shows, but people um, switching seats, like moving up rows right before the show starts, because I feel like at big shows... I think people should get banned for that. Me too! I, think I really it's think shocking. it's so disrespectful. Yes, because it's... Okay. The, this sounds very vain, I feel like, when we're saying it this way, but no, there's but people working on the seating for months. Exactly. There's people working their entire careers exactly. to be in their seat. So you don't just like sit in your, I don't know. Also, we know our seat before we attend the show. Yeah. So if a brand says to me fifth row and I feel too entitled to go, then I don't go. But I don't go with the hopes of moving up. I just so. think it's a really bad look. And I actually witnessed it at Chloe, oh, really? mm. somebody who wasn't definitely not front row then sat in front of me and i'm like this is embarrassing unless the pr comes and like picks you up exactly Sorry, i'm interrupting you no, sometimes like there's empty seats because someone can't make it prs that are working the show they're like okay who can we place here and yeah. then they pick the whoever is relevant yeah. or who they like but doing it by yourself i think it's so bad insane it's so, so i rarely bad. see it anywhere but i think that's even like i remember i had a situation where a pr was like okay move up and i was I, like no i'm so uncomfortable yeah especially if it's like others that you were seated next to you know what I mean? Like It's not really scandalous, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's the first time so I've seen that scandalous. in a while and I was just like... I think 
like people's behaviors, manners. We're both German, so yeah, we're, we're so German. <laughs> Maybe we sound a little bit harsh. I don't know where we're going in the tunnel. Oh my god, we are literally we left one like more than one hour before the show officially starts and the show will start 30 minutes later so we left 90 minutes prior <laughs> that's how German we are yeah I am very German because bad manners drive me insane and the amount of people lie lie about what? mine and everything like they're like they're about lying. themselves? oh god no they lie about jobs they like pretend they get paid if they don't get paid mm -hmm. can we also just point out that Shooting an Instagram photo is not shooting a campaign. Right? Who's doing that? I think Zenia. So many okay. people because they're always like, oh my god, I'm shooting a campaign tomorrow. I'm like, wow, it's like on billboards. No, no, I have to post on Instagram. I'm like, <laughs> it's my own campaign. Yes. Okay, when you're yeah, delivering so. a little bit too hard. Actually, I, I'm all pro Delulu. Same, but I, I think um, as a content creator, you never want to take away from the hard work. Not that we don't work hard, but of a model itself. So oh my comparing God. yourself to doing a campaign, that's a little bit much. Course. Pushing it. Especially if you shoot it like on iPhone. <laughs> iPhone can be good quality. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. There are good iPhone campaigns. I'm not going to Shot on iPhone. But other than that, I think it's really great that we found our people. Yeah that's like 101 survival of fashion no. week the last day is always like bittersweet because you feel exhausted i did men's you did couture and then it's women's and you also I, did couture it's over i can be in my own bed but also now everyone might not see each other for a little while i it's mean i want to see goodbye. your face yeah but still everyone stop. else <laughs> everyone else that's okay because actually all the people that i really love they're my friends so i'm gonna see them anyway Okay, and the people, a few people that I don't see. Yeah, because they're like all over the world. Yeah. Shooting something, like photography. I feel like we've seen all the collections and now everyone goes oh, on yeah. to shoot all of them, to do the magazine spreads, like preparing their e-tail, doing their buying. So I think now it's kind of... The work continues. Yeah, the work continues. You know what's the best moment after Fashion Month? Mm -hmm. What's the best moment after Fashion Month? For me, sleeping in my bed. Fair. Seeing my dog. Fair. But I think food at home. Oh, <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> what but is that? for me, it's like putting on a really like really cozy. This is not your everyday look. Outfit. Um, it is. What I'm always excited about is when I put on like my jogging pants and then like a sweater that's super cozy, and I'm just like my cool me again cozy and but then i do that but then if you do it for a week too long you kind of oh, get depressed from that person <laughs> no you get so depressed because <laughs> it is no, a yeah. mood like it affects your mood oh, if you put course. effort in yourself i feel like but you know when we saw each other in berlin and you were like wearing ugg boots and like leggings and you're and in the, your traveling and outfit. i'm like in my like so fancy and i'm like i'm so jealous and then we were in new york and True. i was in my house and, <laughs> and you're like i'm so jealous That's okay can i ask you more fashion week stuff <laughs> yes what for you no matter what you see this what is the reason for you to decline a show i'm actually gonna spill the tea mm -hmm. because i had an experience that made me realize how important relationships are to me like no matter how big a brand is and how much leg legacy heritage the brand has if there's no genuine relationship i'm out and that's like the thing about me in life i'm all about relationships and if it doesn't feel good and i don't feel valued and appreciated Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. i am out and the good thing is i have so many great relationships that i'm i am not desperate yeah. you know no same thing also that relationship thing i think it goes both ways and i think often the brand from my perspective the brands sometimes have guests that have no idea like who's the creative director or who's he, like yeah 100%. i don't know don't, don't know any i'm not naming names and maybe they're there for different reasons you know there's also there's a content creator that's there for image that, that, that's there to bring virality is that a word i just but think still. it's like a matter of respect yeah, yes is the relationship part mm -hmm. and i think if we compare it to our personal life, sometimes we run after so many people that don't deserve our time. Yeah. The man that doesn't deserve our time <laughs> or the friends. And then we often have the people that are there for us and we spend more time worrying about the people that aren't or that should be doing more. And I guess in work for us, it's kind of the same. Not to focus on the brands that don't really appreciate you when we have the best relationships ever with but brands I feel like or we're... people at the houses that we love. Yes, but I feel like we're very like healthy. 
yeah, what we're also very lucky, I guess. And then if I get in this mindset, you're there to remind me. <laughs> Respect yourself. You're like, Xenia, we don't chase, so we attract. I'm like, yes, bitch. Yeah, because you've worked so hard for 10 years, I don't think this is the mindset. That you no, and have. honestly, I'm so happy with my standing in mm -hmm. the industry. Like, for so many years, I was just, I felt stupid. Mm -hmm. And now I feel on my power. <laughs> like, I get what I work for, you know? So that's when you decline. When do you actually feel appreciated? Like, what's a sign for you by a brand? Like, what's the opposite? For me, it's what not even... Really good? For me, it's not even being, like, super spoiled. Like, it's not a brand that gives me the most gifts or the most money. It's really, like, a, it's a communication. Mm -hmm. Like, when a brand is very transparent, because you cannot be for everybody and even for the ones that you're very close with you okay, cannot for do everybody everything. you're doing something wrong i also think yeah oh for sure as taylor swift says she said that a friend to all is a friend to none <laughs> got it <laughs> like for example if there's an event where i'm not part of it because of whatever like market reasons or whatever mm -hmm. and then the brand is like hey xenia i'm um, just fyi we're doing this event but it's focused on this market and that's why we cannot have you there or something like that but just like honest communication just like the guy should text you hi i'm not gonna be on the yeah. phone the next three hours because i'm working out <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. but just being transparent not shady like there's yeah. so many shady and i don't have time for shadiness like mm -hmm. That is, you can really always compare it with like relationships. <laughs> I get the most offended because I'm like, do you think I'm stupid? Oh yeah, when it's like a false reason or like yeah. a red, yeah. Or like I caught so many brands lying where I'm like, but I talk to people. I'm yeah. not stupid. People talk to me. <laughs> exactly. What about you? Uh, side note, Zenia has been holding the phone up like this the entire time. I don't know how you're doing this. I actually put it on the arm No, but still, you ha you're holding your arm. Yeah, it's my arm workout, so they're gonna be very defined when I shoot. <laughs> Only the left side, <laughs> not the right. right. So I think my most important relationship with any brands are the ones that I've been wearing for years anyways. And I was part of their universe regardless of them yeah seeing me or recognizing me mm -hmm. so i think that is the most rewarding part when it's like you're not trying to convince yourself like i love this brand just because i'm getting about yeah, it yeah, but like yeah. i would have worn this regardless if i was working yeah. in fashion or if i was i don't know i think that to me is the nicest now part. that you say it one rule that i have is if i wouldn't buy from the brand yeah. i will not attend the show yeah. and this really blows my mind because i have friends who are like oh i okay, wasn't that's invited my empire I wasn't invited to this brand and I asked my friend, I'm like, oh, do you have anything to do with them? Have you ever bought this brand? Like, And you don't have years? to be a client. You can buy magazines, anything. you can post them on Tumblr, like you can be anything. a part of a brand's universe, you know, exactly. not as a client, but like no but relation there's at no all. no relation. There's only a few brands that, for example, don't dress anyone. Like Rick Owens is an example where you see everyone that's there, they don't dress people. Dressing people means like, you request the show or you get an invite and then PR or communications team or agency sends you looks. I mean, if you're worthy. And Rick just doesn't. I love so it. So people are just expected to show up, but they don't have to wear Rick, but most people do. And it's just like collected or bought over years and everyone is in their own style. And I think that's very rare. And I think it's totally fair that brands um, dress the front row. But when you just look at them and then you know, like, this is no one's personal taste right yeah. now. Yeah. I think that's sometimes a bit sad. Look at us yapping. Normally, like, you sit in the car, like, in quiet before the show, like, kind of nervous that you're late. Hi. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> How are you? Hi. Coucou maman, coucou chérie, outfit of the day. Stupenda! What? Reference? 
Senia Stupenda. Because you're getting Senia thing Stupenda means stupid. That's so funny. Guys, for reference, I at Mio Mio, I was wearing a mini skirt. I mean, you saw it. It was very mini, like this. Yes. Okay. So that's the reference. I was walking out of the show, and then I, like you do to your best friend, grab Senia's derriere, like underneath, like. And Maybe I turn around like this. But she turned around on the wrong side. And then I see this old woman. And I look at her like, like what's wrong with you? Did I get harassed by like a random old woman? And I laughed so much, but I also was very concerned because I thought, what if I grabbed the wrong person? Because <laughs> I also didn't see from front that it was for sure Xenia. But all is good. Everybody. All ended well. Uh, would you like a mint, my love? Yes. Is that your way of saying I need one? No, I just wanted one, so I have to offer, you know, otherwise it's a bit rude. I also am asking people now, who are just Brenda and you, what was the most scandalous moment of the whole cash month? The most scandalous moment was, I can't share. I texted you all the scandalous things, Tanya. I cannot then like tell now me, then spread. Tell me what it is. I agree. I agree. Guys, this I show. You know this what, is the show Paris Fashion Week. Can we agree on that? I agree. This is, but this is what I love. It's always like the grand finale with the perfect trifecta: Chanel, Miu Miu, Louis Vuitton. I think Louis Vuitton is like the big, the big bang. really nice when I keep my YouTube followers on your toes while I get unready which I'm so excited about so I honestly feel like Paris Fashion Week didn't feel like Fashion Week because I was out for so long but I made some observations and I noticed a trend that I find so interesting because as you know I started doing Fashion Weeks in 2017 and that's my seventh year now so I've seen a lot, okay? And one thing that I've noticed is that back in the days, everybody wanted to do everything. Like every person wanted to attend all the shows. And I think that's like, it's okay because when you're starting out, like we, which I mean like me and my friends, we were starting out and you kinda, like you get so excited about every invite, every show. But then when you get to a certain level and you wanna work with certain brands, you need to have a strategy because these brands, they don't just work with anybody. Like it doesn't matter how many followers you have. It doesn't matter like how high your engagement is. Like sure, you can get invited to some shows because of your numbers. But in the end, it doesn't really depend on that. It depends on your whole strategy and your image. Like who do you stand for? Which brand do you work with? What do you do? Like what makes you a personal brand? And that's also the reason, I mean, I talked about this a zillion times, but we changed my strategy from like doing everything and being everywhere and doing all the shows to be super selective. And we're so selective that I even said no to a very big brand. And the reason why I said no, and you know, this might be controversial, because I also understand that it's a huge privilege to be invited. Like I, I get that. I also think it is such a privilege to see these shows up close and I get it. But for me, I think something that's my strength and what I'm really good at is knowing my worth and setting boundaries. Sounds very dramatic, but I'm gonna explain to you what I mean by that. So it's funny because you know, sometimes I talk about that I'm not always my most confident self. And also I talk about how I think that confidence is quiet. 
like it's never loud and i also think that it's fluid like i'm not saying that one day you're super confident and the other day you're super insecure i think it really depends on the situation and the context for example i feel like there are some areas where i have like a very solid confidence and then other areas where i'm not super confident i also know what my personal brand is worth and i'm i'm so i'm so particular and i know really well what i want and what i don't want and what i am willing to accept anyway long story short so one sec yay ah oh, feels good okay so one thing that i mentioned earlier is that for me the most important thing is the relationship like for me the relationship with a brand is so important it needs to be genuine no matter how much i love a brand if there's no relationship it's not gonna happen like i'm not gonna work with the brand because i also think and i think people underestimate that i think that the viewer aka you guys you are so smart and people know everything so i feel like even though we share our lives online and there's so much that we don't show and blah 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 but you can feel energy through a screen and <laughs> leave so much in that and that's why i want to have relationships with brands where it's very authentic how i feel about the brand this season i was invited actually i got invited really early like a month before the show which is very unusual to be invited this early so i was like yes i'll be in town blah 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 i'm happy to come we selected my look blah, 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 blah. and then i asked the brand and by the way this is a new team so it's not somebody that i personally know but it's a new team like the old team left and now it's a new team which like again for me relationships are everything so this is like already mm, not ideal but also it's okay <gasps> Oh my god, I put body oil on my face. I'm so stupid, oh my god. I was like, why is the serum so rich? Lol. And then I was asking the team about something, about the show, and they were not being transparent about it at all. Like they were like, sorry, we cannot tell you. And I was like, this is really strange because usually I always get this piece of information and also i know that other people got this piece of information and they didn't tell me like they just said we cannot tell you we cannot tell you and i was like i don't like that and i think as an outsider you may be like oh but this is so stupid like just go like it's such an honor to be invited and yes it is but again for me relationships are so key and communication is so so key and when i feel like there is a lack of transparency not just a lack of transparency but also like things where i just know they happen differently that's when i was like you know what thank you so much for the invite but unfortunately i'm not able to come to the show and i was like wow the fact that now i'm at a point where i am able to select my partners and stick to the ones where i feel very safe where i feel like it's a mutual relationship it's not just a one-way street and i have the freedom to say no to others even though i love the brand but again i just know that these relationships are really important to me and i'm very proud that i stood up for myself and that i'm focused on my priorities that's all and you know what i'm so happy i mean i'm also kind of happy that it's over but i am so happy with the season and i'm so happy with the brands that i had and like today was the perfect day i've always dreamed of having a trifecta so on the last day you have chanel miu miu and louis vuitton they're just such golds and i got every show that i wanted and every brand that i work with super closely so i'm very very happy but that's something that i've noticed because i think in the future instead of people wanting to do everything with everybody i think that everybody needs to find their brand universe and find the brands they align with but also like in terms of personal style and and it's not the thing anymore i i predict that okay i don't think it's gonna be a thing anymore where people just do it all but it's gonna be more selective and i also think that when i think back to the past where i was doing everything it's just not sustainable because you're not able to enjoy anything it's just too crazy and i think now that i really 
narrowed it down. I mean, minus the part where I got sick, okay? <laughs> but generally I would say I had a really, really, really great experience and I got to enjoy myself, you know? I had wonderful dinners with friends. I had wonderful experiences where I was able to even stuff like reading before I go to bed. And even if it's just five minutes, but I'm doing it, right? And also back in the days, I would try so hard to go to every dinner. And now I'm just like my ideal night is, I mean, I love dinners with people that I love, but I am not doing all these random things anymore that I used to do in the past. I wish I took you along with me like back in the day so you could see how crazy everything was that I was doing. It's just changing. It's I think it's going into a more mature direction and I'm really, 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 really proud because I just remember the times when I wish to have what I currently have. So I'm very, very, very grateful. I have a very grateful heart. Anyway, so what a fun little debrief. We, you and I, we have one more date because tomorrow morning, a big dream of mine will <laughs> come true. I'm very excited I get to take you along, so. See you fresh and early in the morning. Mm -hmm.